Hi everyone. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to configure vSphere VMs with virtual GPU. So in order to show this live demo, the backend in our demo environment, we have VMware ESXi and virtual center, and we also have one of the Havilet packet HPE demo server, and we also using NVIDIA GPU graphics processing unit. OK, so to configure this one, uh, let's quickly log into our demo system. See, I connected to the vCenter server and before we configure the virtual machines with virtual GPU, the pre requirements are our hardware server hardware must installed with configure under hardware section when you select the graphics our server must install with a physical gpus graphics processing unit that is one requirement and another requirement is this gpu must be selected the activation and configuration type should be shared direct according to nvidia our gpu partner when you click edit we can modify this option okay so currently already it is in the shared direct and we can also see how many vms are connected to this gpu currently five vms are connected to this first gpu suppose if i want to add any other virtual machines the only pre-requirement is our esxi host must be installed with nvidia gpu driver and it should be in the shared direct then only we can able to assign the virtual gpu to virtual machine and another requirement is our virtual machine must be in a powered off state if you see in our uh, vcenter all our virtual machines are in a power on state if you want to add a virtual gpu that virtual machine should be in the power up state suppose for example i selected suzy vm01 if you see in the right side in our virtual machine hardware there is no gpu for example if i select a ubuntu vm01 and right side under the vm hardware section summary tab vm hardware if you scroll down you can see there is a pci device 0 and it's connected to nvidia grid vgpu even if I select the another VM, watch Ubuntu VM02 and the summary tab, just scroll down the VM hardware, you can see PCA device 0. It's communicated to the uh, connected to the NVIDIA grid virtual GPU. OK, suppose if I select the vCenter VM, our vCenter VM is there is no PCI device. That means it's not connected to virtual GPU. So for our testing purpose, even if the VM is in power on state, if you're trying to add a virtual GPU PCI device, it will give us the error message. We'll observe the error is coming or not. Suppose add new device and select PCI device. See, it's giving the error message says device of this type cannot be added while this virtual machine is powered on. OK, so as per the instruction, we should be power of the virtual machine. Even in the production environment, we should uh, gracefully shut down the virtual machine and then only we can add the PCI device and followed by choosing the specific virtual GPU. So currently now recent task initiated guest voice shutdown is in progress. It's completed. So currently our Suzy virtual machine is in a power of state. Even in the VM hardware tab, there is no PCI device here. To add the PCI device, right click the virtual machine, go to the edit settings. And in our virtual machine edit settings in the right side, you can see add new device. So select the add new device under new device. We have multiple options adding the hard disk, RDM disk and all to select the specific graphic processing unit, GPU graphics processing unit. The only option we need to select is PCA because the GPU is inserted on PCA peripheral component interconnect. Even using the virtual PCA device only, we can assign the GPU to virtual machine. So select the PCA device and see currently new PCA device is connected and it's automatically detected the NVIDIA grid virtual GPU one see this virtual gpu there are multiple options are available if i select the drop down menu you can choose any of the one five c ten c and all any of the randomly you can choose the specific nvidia grid virtual gpu profile and click on ok so this is how we can assign the virtual gpu to virtual machines okay even if anyone asked how to configure the 
virtual machine with virtual GP means this is only the procedure. Power off the virtual machine, add a PCA device. While adding the PCA device, you can choose the respective NVIDIA GPUs. Okay, so once it is added, you can just power on. Even previously, when you see the SXI host, select the NVIDIA, we have only five devices are available. Maybe once we power on the virtual machine, we can see the another sixth device that is Suzy VM01. Even if you want to verify this information from command line, connect to the ESXi host using SSH session via putty tool, and you can type the command NVIDIA hyphen SMI system management interface, you can see all our system management information of NVIDIA. As I mentioned, to configure the NVIDIA, the key requirement is it must install with a virtual GPU manager. That manager installation is same like how we are installing the ESXi host patch using ESX CLI software space, VAB install. We can use VAB install or VAB update command. Same command we can use instead of ESX binary file we have to use nvidia binary file to install the nvidia virtual gpu manager once the driver is installed you can able to detect the virtual gpus and also we can able to configure the virtual machine even in the command line it is showing the five vms only at present you can use this uh, and nvidia SMI command or you can use another command is esx cli command graphics space device list it will show you how many devices we have currently two nvidia graphic devices are available here both are same model and another option esx cli space graphics space vm space list it will show you how many vms are configured with gpu device currently five devices okay now just now we added a new device that is suzy vm01 once it is power on we can observe the new vm is added to gpu devices list or not okay so power on virtual machine suzy vm is completed so suzy virtual machine power on is in progress so once this is power on, we can see the difference in our graphical level. Suppose select the our uh, NVIDIA GPU. Let's say when I select the NVIDIA GPU, second NVIDIA GPU, you can see Suzy VM01 is power on state. And the first NVIDIA GPU also connected with five devices. So now totally five plus one, six devices are connected to and started using the virtual GPU devices. So the same information you can also see from the command line. You can type the same command ESX CLI graphic VM list. Earlier our VM list is five VMs. Now you can see there is a sixth VM also added. Okay, so this is how we can configure the virtual machines with virtual GPUs. Okay, hope you got an idea. But only thing in the production environment, we require a virtual machine downtime. We have to power down, then only we can able to add the PCA device and associated with respective NVIDIA GPU profile. Okay, let's back to the slide. And command whatever we discussed, the key commands are NVIDIA SMI and ESXLI graphics device list, ESXLI graphic VM list. And NVIDIA SMI is mainly one of the command line utility from NVIDIA. Okay. And one key use case is why we are assigning the GPUs to virtual machine is the key use case is to provide a application acceleration. Okay, so we must have a physical GPU in our hardware, then only we can assign GPU to virtual machine guest device. Similarly, we can assign it to the enterprise grade Kubernetes, which is Tanju environment. All the containers also running with can started using a GPU resources. Okay, so hope you got an idea. That's it. Thank you. If you are watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to Grand Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.